Welcome back to Totally Bias. Now, of course, a lot has changed as a result of 9-11, but it looks like one thing may return to being the way it used to be, airport security. The TSA is expanding their pre-check program so we can keep our shoes and our laptops and our liquids in our bags, everybody. But of course, it will cost us $85 to apply for the program. <laughs> wow, that's a great system. I mean, what kind of terrorist has 85 bucks? <laughs> Here now to talk about these changes is Hari Kondabolu in his segment, The Kondo Bulletin, everybody. The TSA said their new pre-check program is part of their intelligence-driven, risk-based approach to security. Intelligence-driven. If I recall, isn't this basically how airport security works? Brown, get him! <laughs> now, you might be thinking it's kind of old for a brown dude to talk about airport security. Do you know what else is kind of old? Racism. <laughs> I've been pulled out of line and searched at airports for 12 years now. This especially sucks since I fly around the country to do shows in places like Kalamazoo, Michigan. If you saw me looking agitated and were worried I wanted the plane to go down, it's because I did. <laughs> Not because I'm a terrorist. It's because I was going to Kalamazoo, Michigan. <laughs> so after 12 years of being treated like, like suspects, you think brown people will pretend it never happened for $85? No, we want airport reparations. <laughs> so I made a list. Number one, all brown people get this new pre-check program for free. <laughs> and, and get to ride in golf carts. And get free Cinnabon. <laughs> yes, Cinnabon is a calorie bomb, but the only person I'm hurting is myself. <laughs> Number two, Sikh men arguably got the worst after 9-11 since they have beards and wear turbans. So now airport security will be run by Sikh men. <laughs> if I'm going to get my rights violated, I want it to be by someone who's an expert on getting their rights violated. <laughs> Sikhs are like the Michael Jordan of getting searched at the airport. <laughs> Can you imagine the reactions most Americans would have at seeing a Sikh security agent? <laughs> That's what justice looks like. <laughs> Number three, white people, you have to be forced to miss a flight solely because you're white. And then have a brown person say, hey, it's for everyone's safety. <laughs> As they walk in front of you in line. Then you get your anus checked for a fuse. <laughs> Actually, that's what justice looks like. You might be thinking that last one is too drastic. Slow down, hurry. Keep your pants on. I'm trying, but airport security keeps making me take them off. <laughs> Number four, I personally want to check for $534.82 to cover the bottles of Palmer's cocoa butter I've had to throw out over the years because they were deemed too big. How does me being ashy protect America? <laughs> I would argue it hurts America. <laughs> and finally, number five, every non-brown person has to wear what I wear under my jacket to keep myself safe when I'm being stopped and searched. <laughs> uh, by the way, I wrote this list in 2002. I'm Hurry Kondabolu.